For the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, we have a wealth of riches to dive into. You know, the gospel reading, another trap for Jesus uh, that he's able to, to get himself out of. And, uh, you know, the, the question being, which is the greatest of the commandments? Well, how do you even rank them? You know, and he, he boils it down, you know, to love of God and love of neighbor. And in some ways, those are the summary of anything God has ever told us to do. And uh, all the law and all the prophets uh, are founded on them. So, you know, uh, I'll let you digest more of that on your own. Uh, but, you know, go all the way back to uh, the first reading. And, uh, you know, you've got this passage from Exodus. And it's, it's uh, boy, it's a challenge, I think, in some ways. You know, the Lord says, you know, do not, don't mess with the widow and the orphan. Because if you do, you know, if you forget the fact that, you know, you were, you know, an alien in a, in a foreign land and, and, you know, dependent on, on others, if you forget about your, your state, you know, and, and neglect, you know, others, you know, particularly these most vulnerable among us, you know, God says, well, I'm going to, I'm going to mow you down with the sword, essentially, and then, you know, your children and your wives will be widows and orphans, and, you know, it, it's harsh, right? I mean, it's, it's brutal, and uh, I don't think it's one of those things, like, God's not coming at it, like, like, vindictively, but, you know, kind of like stating the reality in a very human way, um, that, that what will be the consequence of living your life in this neglectful way? Well, these, you know, you're going to die in some way anyway, even if you're just talking spiritually. You know, if you don't take care of those that God has charged you with taking care of, then, then, then you're not going to be <clears throat> living the fullness of life that God's called you to. So even if it's just a, a, a spiritual sense of death, you know, uh, the reality remains. And, um, and again, you know, in that context, I think a lot of times, you know, uh, the, the scriptures are written in a way that uh, were, were very clear and understandable, you know, at the time. And, you know, it, it's not untrue that, that that would happen, that God would respond with the sword and, and you know, people would die as a consequence of, of this particular sin. But uh, I think we need to look at it, you know, in some way as, you know, just the, the natural spiritual consequences of, you know, the neglect that God is, uh, you know, calling out of the people. So there's that there. Uh, noting back, uh, going back to uh, St. Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, you know, we've got this, uh, another, another word of encouragement. You know, here he really opens up for the Thessalonians, you know, that he hears great stories about them, you know. He, he's heard about their conversion, you know, turning away from idols and giving their lives to the living God. And uh, people know, you know, how God has been at work in their lives, in their community. And, uh, and they should be proud of that in the, in the healthiest of, of ways. So, you know, as he goes forth, as he leaves their, their community, this time anyway, you know, in between visits, you know, he's got these words to share with them. You know, keep going on the way. You're doing great things because, remember, God has chosen you. So keep the faith, continue the journey, and uh, glorify God in all that you do.